The KDE project has dropped the first beta version of KDE Plasma 6. The upcoming desktop environment that's set to bring a bunch of new features and improvements. But first things first, what is KDE Plasma 6? Well, it's the latest version of the KDE Plasma desktop environment, scheduled for release on February 28, 2024. This release comes with a bunch of cool features like full Wayland support, HDR and color management support, a fresh new icon theme for a modern look, and even the return of the beloved desktop cube effect. If you're eager to get your hands on KDE Plasma 6, you can test it out in the unstable edition of the KDE Neon distribution or the Plasma 6 edition of the Chaos distribution. Here is a quick disclaimer. These are pre-release versions, so they might have a few bugs. The KDE project calls on the open source community to give it a spin, report any bugs you find, and help make the final release rock solid stable. Speaking of which, the KDE project has a roadmap for the release. The second beta version of KDE Plasma 6 is set to drop on December 20th, and in early 2024, two release candidate versions will be available for public testing on January 10th and January 31st, respectively. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and Arch Linux users might just be the first to enjoy it in the early part of next year. All right, let's dive into some of the cool features and improvements they've been working on. First off, they've made the move to QT6, the application framework that forms the backbone of KDE software. This is a big step, as it provides a foundation for a more stable and efficient desktop environment. One of the major highlights is full Wayland support. For those not familiar, Wayland is a protocol that replaces the aging X window system, bringing improved performance and security. Now, when you shut down or restart your machine in a Plasma Wayland session, apps with unsaved changes will prompt you to save them, avoiding any accidental data loss. This was one of the last hurdles they needed to overcome for a seamless Wayland experience. Bug fixes and polishing are also on the agenda. People have been reporting a variety of bugs, and the developers are fixing them as fast as they can. For example, the bounce keys functionality now fully works in the Plasma Wayland session, addressing one of the last remaining Wayland showstoppers. Let's talk about some specific application improvements. The partition manager, for instance, has been refined to prevent writing entries to the fstab file that could hinder future partition mounting. Files and folders created outside of Plasma, but on the desktop should now promptly appear there. Small but important details for a smoother user experience. User interface improvements are also in focus. Changing your user picture and system settings now results in an immediate change in kickoff. A visual glitch in Kate and other Kate text editor-based apps involving the completion pop-up has been fixed. And since the API for Plasma widgets has changed, widgets that aren't compatible with Plasma 6 now show up in a user-friendly way, avoiding confusion. Let's wrap up with a quick round of miscellaneous improvements. When you download an offline update, there's now an option to reboot without applying it on the next boot-up. The battery and brightness widget has been split into two for better organization. Kmail gains support for the new frameless styling in the Plasma 6 Breeze theme. The kill unresponsive window dialog has a visual overhaul in the Plasma Wayland session. Spectacle now opens on Meta plus Shift plus S for those without a print screen key. The Samba sharing configuration wizard has been fully ported to QT6. And there you have it a sneak peek into the exciting world of KDE Plasma 6. With its anticipated release in February 2024, it's shaping up to be a powerful and polished desktop environment. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.